now let's get down to it what famous people did you meet at the um at the o'sullivan documentary premiere which i must mention again i did not attend because i was not uh, asked to well the, the the obvious one was uh david beckham who's obviously yeah. his production company studio 99 made, made made the documentary so um i met met david beckham after so although I was a little bit, little bit peeved because during the the Q and A, which was after afterwards after the documentary with Ronnie Alistair Campbell hosting and David Beckham and the director, David Beckham said, "Oh yeah, it's great. I, I love watching snooker. All my heroes and and tonight I can't believe that you know Jimmy White's here, Ronnie's here. Did he mention me? No, no, no mention of Henry. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Did you put your hand up and say, remind us how many world titles Jimmy White's got?" <laughs> very tempting very tempting but no no it, it, it was great uh, I mean Ronnie Wood was there uh, yeah. I think Alan Shearer was there Ian Wright um, it, 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 there was a few people I think that I, that I didn't recognize um, but it was full of full full but and, and it was it was a great night and a great documentary I must admit I, I, I really did enjoy it yeah it looked really fun I saw loads of red carpet pictures I saw pictures of Beckham Ronnie Wood I myself was hosting a, a awards night for human resources so uh very similar evening for me. Um, <laughs> came downstairs to do the gig and a band was on and everyone in the room was on their feet, drunk, singing Sweet Caroline. At that point, I thought, I think I'd rather be at the Ronnie documentary here. But there we are. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, a great, a great, a great night. Um, and, 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 and really interesting. I mean, obviously, I, I, I know Ronnie very well. I've known him since he's 14 or 15 years old. So I know him very well. But even, even I was sort of, some of the, th- the sort of behind the scenes stuff he got yeah. was, was very interesting. It really is, isn't it? It, it? It's, it's. I mean, I think a, a lot of people listening will have already seen it. I guess by now, it's. Um, yeah, it's amazing how much access he gave them. Like to, to have people watching you, on and off the table for as long as it takes to make a documentary like that. It feels like Ronnie's quite. Well, he seems like quite a private person in some ways, but he's still got the. He's able to have the composure to, to, to operate like that in the in the heat of a tournament. Yeah, I think I think it's the only way it would have worked was was to to give the, the guys you know proper access and obviously being mic'd up during the World Championship was was it was a, a a new a completely new thing um, and you have to say that I mean there's, there's not many snooker players that would make interest in films. Ronnie's probably the only <laughs> one. I mean, if 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 they made one in me, it wouldn't be that exciting. Oh, there's Stephen. He's he's cooking another meal. There's Stephen. He's having another <laughs> game of golf. Yeah, you know, he's smoking another cigar. I mean, it's like yeah, it wouldn't be very interesting. <laughs> It wouldn't stretch all the way to 90 minutes running time, you reckon? <laughs> Unless you followed the whole round of golf, maybe. I suppose so, yeah. Like with Zidane, that doc- uh, documentary <laughs> where they just followed him across a whole match. But well, we'll see what the... If, if anyone's listening and feels like commissioning uh, a film of Stephen just playing endless rounds of golf and having cigars, uh, we are available to pitch it. But it does, yeah, <laughs> it does sound a bit as if... Uh, I can imagine the studio saying, I don't know, there's a lot of golf... And do we need all of those, um, all of those meal <laughs> cooking? I mean, what what would a behind the scenes uh, documentary on your your sort of tours or 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 comedian's life? What would what would that entail? Yeah, similarly, I mean, I took my son to a gig uh, recently, and um, we found a tennis ball backstage, and then I entertained him for about half an hour, just each taking turns to try and chuck the ball into the bin and again i, I don't think that's I don't think you need all of that half hour in a documentary probably uh, yeah not bafta winning stuff i would suggest <laughs> yes, probably not, no. the uh the dressing rooms i have backstage in some theaters are not always but some are fairly bleak and you are you're scratching around a bit for entertainment there'd also be well my equivalent of the of the cigars would be the glass of wine i suppose that it would it would cut to me quite a bit just having a glass of wine going through my phone which again i'm not sure that would make it sort of to big screen gold really i, I can see the director saying is he, is he doing anything else He's, he seems to spend a lot of time texting and playing word puzzles on his phone but it's not great cinema really no. <laughs> yeah again though maybe that thing of getting locked out of the theater will maybe there'll be a feature length film just about that there's been no approaches yet though so i mean maybe someone wants to make a film with me and steve and maybe we've got like half an interesting career each we're open to yeah. offices all the time. Uh, if you're out there 